Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Zheng Kang. Happy birthday to you. 18 of November 2020 is my son Zheng Kang nine years old birthday. It's heartbreaking for a mother who can't celebrate his birthday here, but it's always in my heart. I'm happy for him to be in heaven. Thank you so much to all of you who bought my book, A Grieving Heart is Most Love. Praise the Lord! I am very happy that today I will release the second edition of my book. This book is not just about the loss of my son, but also about my hardship in raising a special daughter on my own to fight for the living and to care for a very sick child. I've added two chapters in this second edition. Loss versus blessing and forgiveness. I have nothing to lose except my pain and losses, my difficulty and hardship. Just like Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 to 10. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insult, in hardship, in persecution, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This is a very difficult time with the COVID-19 pandemic. Everyone from the oldest to the youngest are affected. If you have lost a job or lost financially, I have been in the same boat with you. I have lost a job and a huge financial loss even before the pandemic started. My heart grieved, but I know God loves me. He mended me. I have overcome it. In the new chapter on the forgiveness, it's my very personal journey with God. I expose my secret, my vulnerability to encourage you. Just like Apostle Paul said, I have become all things to all people so that by all means I might save some. My broken heart and broken life have qualified me to write this book. Praise be to the God. He is a God of all comfort who comfort me in all my trouble so that I can comfort you in any trouble with the comfort I myself receive from God. In the last chapter, I've added a section on the maiden of faith. I have ran to the altar and making a difference now. It was not by chance, but I received this baton of faith from Pastor Bill Wilson on the death anniversary of my son, 30th of August, two years ago in a leadership conference. Today, I'm carrying this baton of faith to pass it on to you. Carry on your faith in Christ to your children and the next generation, no matter how hard or how difficult is your circumstances. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eye on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. Amen.